there. So this is a story about street signs. It starts across from the University of British Columbia. The road opposite me, or the road there, is called Chancellor Boulevard. Chance Lore. Chain cellar. And here we are at the beginning of the story. Blanca. White, innocent. The beginning. This is a story of law, the terms that lead up to incarceration, perhaps, or the way to get there, or what we perceive as law, which is just uh, man's words used against us because they're written, transposed. Anyway, let's carry on. Blanca. Now here we are at cross street number two. Second word of the story, told me. Told me is how it's pronounced. The phon phonetics, told me. Also, you can anagram that into toil me, right? It's across the street from an Anglican church, which I think is important as all these laws stem from the uh, Marine Admiralty Law, right? Maritime Admiralty Law. So that's an, an angle con, right? I think there's a, a message in a reinforcement of that toil me term, right? Anyway, next. Okay, we're approaching the next sign. Here. Sasamat. S-A-S. Mat. It's a compound word. Anagram and mat. The place to wipe your soiled souls. And the S-A-S is always a term I've associated with English secret service type of thing. Anyway, you'll notice it's on the opposite side of the road. It's not a right. We have the right to innocence. We have the right to be taken advantage of and toiled. But they place the overseer opposite. We don't we don't really acknowledge. It's a an afterthought that, that you see the SAS. You don't it's not apparent. It's it's what's left, not what's right. And I think that, again, psychologically, they're playing with the words. Anyway, that's word number three in the story. Okay, we are approaching the fourth message in the story. This one, Trimble, also on the left. like tremble, isn't it? Oh, and look, there's another con. The tremble, also on the left, which you don't quite notice. It comes after the sassamat. Why would tremble? There's another aspect that this is where you're given the rights and this is what is left. From here on, you're given two worlds, the world of man and nature's world, though it's slowly being supplanted by things. From this point, the view changes. You're given two definite paths, the natural path and the one of man. See? This or that? <laughs> Interesting, the school here is for the... I can't remember. Well, I think it's for the deaf.
So they can't take a chance on lore. They don't get to hear it. Okay. Now we're at number five. Discovery. <laughs> Discovery. This is one of the first aspects of the legal system. Discovery. They must discover something in evidence for convictions. And, again, it's on the right. <laughs> it's not a right. It's not a privilege. It's a right created by man. That's our right. But it's what's left. The other one of these schools, I believe, is a private school. No left turn. <laughs> Significance, eh? After discovery is Courtney. Court. Take you to the court. And nay. Should be the reply. Yeah, it gets too steep for me to slide, side, slide, going down hills like this. <sighs> I'll get used to it at some point, perhaps. And now we come a crown upon the crown. The crown that goes round. So this is the only place where this topography meets these road signs. Many of these road signs carry on in other places, but this is the only topography and block configuration that has the crown <clears throat> and the crown that goes round. And so we're gonna, we'll walk part way under the crown. We'll, we'll understand the crown and we'll look over at our our nature and we'll look at all the wonderment of man and our nature and we'll carry on down This is the area. It's called Point Ray. Also names. So, and this is the divider. Okay, we're still understanding the crown. But what they've done is they've thrown up a hedgerow. We only have the crown. We don't see our nature. We don't get that. So here's the other side of the crown. What happens if we rise above? Let's check this out. Oh, look, it's got spiky hair. So the crown, of course, always has an escape. So off of the crescent of the crown, This is the back door. It's also the crown. A street 
of the crown. Oh, and speaking of attention, there's the school bell. What should we do? Is it recess? Now, what I consider <laughs> one of the, ah, it's the one word I don't know so well, but uh, because it wasn't, camel wasn't a word at the time. However, <laughs> that's significant. The top of the crown. What does the crown do? Sells you sunshine, right? Camo sun. Clever, right? That's the top of the crown, the crown that goes around. See, if you go up here, or if you take the crown street, it brings you to 10th, 10, 10, one, zero, one, the one. goes back to one. Now as we go back down, we're fast forwarding numerous times here, the Crown Street takes you to 10th. And we have one more road to go, which tells you what it's all about. An interesting thing of the uh, crown that goes round is it uh, once was populated by the, you know, upper people at the university and then uh, industrial captains and because it's right beside a flogging course up top there. But then, or now, it's, um, well, entirely being consumed by the Chinese who are moving in. Not slowly, quickly. Taking over, demolishing every house and putting up a new squarer box with defined square edges. <laughs> it's... Okay, so speaking of the commotion, right? Here we come to Wallace, another compound word. Law going one way and lace running the other. Also, we're at eighth, eighth, lace goes to 10, so this must be nine. <laughs> the Broadway, nine. Neither, there is neither law nor lace. They don't work. There's no such thing. No law, no lace. Just look out over the hedge. You can see it. It's right before your eyes.